Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Faith Moment. There are lots of things I love about being a parish priest, and one of them is being able to take assemblies in the schools. At the moment, we have two super primary schools in our parishes, and three primary schools, actually, that I go into and help look after. So I thought I'd share with you some of the great ideas that have come from primary school assemblies. And one of the things I love is that the children have new ideas, fresh ideas, and lots of energy. I love the interaction of assemblies. And I wanted to share one of my favorite things that a kid said in an assembly. And I've called it from the mouth of babes. Look at the energy and excitement on that little girl's face. So we were doing an assembly and the theme of the assembly was the Lord is my shepherd from Psalm 23. And I explained to the children that David himself that wrote it was a shepherd. So he looked after sheep when he was a little boy and he knew what a shepherd did. And he knew that a shepherd always protected his sheep. He looked after them. He loved them. They were precious to him. If one got lost, he went and found it and brought it back. He didn't tell it off, he just brought it back. When they got frightened or worried at night, he would cuddle up to them and protect them. If a bear or a lion came, he would frighten them away. And how the shepherd was always there with his sheep, day and night, he never left them because he loved them and he looked after them. And if one of them got hurt, he would try and make it better. And it's a beautiful picture of the shepherd just lying down sleeping with his sheep to look after them. So I told them that David knew all of that. And so when David tried to say, well, I wonder how I can describe what God's like for me. The best way that he could think of saying it was the Lord is my shepherd because he always looks after me. He's there for me day and night. He protects me when I'm worried or frightened or anything is going to try and hurt me. And if I get hurt, he tries to look after me. And sometimes if I get a bit lost, he always comes and finds me and brings me back because I'm precious to him. So David was a shepherd himself and he knew what a shepherd did. So he described God as his shepherd. So I said to the kids, well, how would you describe God for yourself? What's your relationship with him like? How would you say, the Lord is my what? And they thought for a few moments and there was hands going up. Uh, the Lord is my teacher. The Lord is my friend. The Lord is my brother. The Lord is my dad. The Lord is my, and there was all sorts of stuff coming up. And it was really sweet, really lovely, hearing these ideas and thoughts and just the energy and the joy of it. And then right at the end, there was a little hand went up and I thought, I'll just take this last one. And the little boy was so serious. I remember him now. And he just shouted out, the Lord is my second chance. And I said, what do you mean? He said, when I get stuff wrong and I say I'm sorry and I really mean it, he always gives me a second chance. The Lord is my second chance. And it blew me away. And I thought, this young man has got it. And if he keeps that through his life, he'll have a second chance every day, every day, every day, as long as he needs it. The Lord is my second chance. Beautiful moment in the assembly. And I thought, well, how does that affect us today? Maybe we've got a lot to learn from that. In these times of weirdness and lockdown and unlockdown and changes and all of that and all of that, I think we've all found that maybe we're not as strong as we thought we were. Maybe we've got some stuff wrong that we just need to say sorry for. Maybe we've just not managed to do the right thing again and again. Maybe we got a bit down or fed up or isolated or depressed. Maybe we've struggled with our mental health. Maybe we've struggled with our physical health. Maybe we've just had a bit of a rough time. And maybe we just need a second chance. And that little boy had nailed it that the Lord wasn't going to keep telling him off. If he was sorry and he really meant it and said it, then the Lord would always give him a second chance. The Lord is my second chance. So two questions for you today. 
If you need that second chance, why not take it and know that it's always there for you, every moment, every day. And then the second question, as you're walking around today, as you're having your day, why not ask yourself, the Lord is mine, dot, dot, dot. Who is he for you? What's your relationship with him? It will take you a long way. Let's just pause for a moment. The Lord is mine. Who is he for you? Begin it now. Just start telling him. Take a moment in quietness. So let's pray together. Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you that we have a real personal relationship with you. And as we walk this day and this night, will you be helping us to see like that little boy did, the Lord is my dot, dot, dot. And may our relationship with you go ever deeper. Amen. So God bless you, God keep you, the Lord is mine, dot, dot, dot. God bless.